This weekend, FC Joyce Elementary School is celebrating that no student will have to go to school without the necessary school supplies. This helped me a lot. I'm going to ask for pencils a lot. Eighth grader Brandon Rogers got to stock up at this community event put on by SAC Helping Hands. All these binders, pencils, pens. Mother of six and volunteer Pamela Walton says she heard about the need at FC Joyce and had to reach out to businesses to adopt a school. I guess like 85% of the kids do cannot buy their own school supplies and when I heard that my heart just melted because these kids need just as much school supplies as the next school. The parking lot of Family Community Church turned into the distribution site for supplies and a place for children to get free back to school haircuts leaving many parents amazed. And this is a blessing to us, you know, because I was unable to afford to get school supplies. And so coming here and seeing this, this was actually a dream come true. Principal Jim Davis says he's looking forward to his kids getting what they need so they can focus on a successful school year. It's really just an incredible show of support from the community um, because so when kids aren't coming with the supplies that they need, you know, it makes them feel like they're, you know, not ready for school, you know. Now 600 students are overcoming life's challenges with the community's love and support. I think that's probably even more important than the supplies. It's just for the students to know that so many people care about them. I know it's just going to help those kids going to school, uh, you know, knowing that they have their backs covered, that someone loved them enough to give them something. Volunteers with SAC Helping Hands say this is the very first time they have adopted a school for back to school, but they plan to do it again next year. In North Highlands, Leticia Ordaz, KCL Ray 3 News.